All right, I was not. What is wrong with my camera? Oh, God. All right, I wasn't planning on doing this at all. It is my 15 year anniversary with my wife, but I just dropped her off at a massage place. So I was like, all right, real quick, while she's getting her massage, I'll take the money I would have used for a massage, hit up some little thrift stores or something like that. So I'm gonna hit up something called Angel's View, and I've never heard of it, but a local told me that's like their Goodwills out here. So I'm gonna check it out. Happy wife, happy husband. It's just a good It's from a car dealership, but how sick would that be if they would hook me up with that sign? Genesis! Duh. Genesis! Duh. Genesis! Duh. What? Nissan Doe. All right, I'm here and I have never seen this place before, or this type. It looks a little more non-super thrift store like I'd like, but let's see, it's just for fun and it was sporadic. Let's -a go. All right, right off the bat, well, there is something in the back that looks like electronics-ish. So we'll see. Let's find out. The never ending story two. I don't think I've ever seen part two. Is it good? Talk hate all you want. I liked this movie. Didn't love it, but I liked it. <sighs> yes, I'm extremely burned right now, but I was about to leave and then I saw like a random doorway right there with a whole other room. And this is where the electronic stuff is. Not saying I've seen anything yet, but oh my gosh, look at my face, it's red. This is pretty cool, an uh, AM FM sports engineered cassette player. Looks kind of cool, it's by Wilson. Wilson! Does it work? Eject. <gasps> it does. I don't know if it has an AC adapter though for it. Oh, that's for headphones. I don't see, oh, there we go. Yeah! I think I am gonna buy this. It is only $5.99. I might be real willing to take the risk of it not working because of the cool colors, but I might have to look in here, see if they got some plugs for it somewhere. See if I can give it a test out before I spend the six books. You can do it! Okay, after much digging, I found a cord that goes with it. Hopefully they can just throw it in because it should have a plug with it. But I don't see an outlet yet. I gotta find one. Let's see the test right now. I don't know if this outlet works actually now that I think about it. Look at that. I see nothing. I mean. Oh, wait. Yes. Houston, we have liftoff. I'm buying it. And I could actually hear audible sound when I pressed fast forward coming from the speaker in the back. So, this is a purchase. This is actually a good brand of helmets. All right, my friends, we bought it. So we bought it for $5.99. They did include the, the AC adapter to plug it in. So what we're gonna do for you guys, it's gonna seem like it's gonna be right now, but we're gonna test this out when we get home. For me, it'll be tomorrow when our little vacation is over and I'm back at home checking it out. We'll throw in a cassette tape. You know what? Why don't we throw, throw in the cassette tape that I got from the last episode of the NES Pursuit? Remember? The Flintstones? Viva Rock Vegas? Mm -hmm. Do you think this would help a child's brain or make it worse because it's reading for them? I think it would help your brain. I think you should try it. Reading, you said it's not your strongest thing. All right, let's check this baby out. Let's do it. 
All right, I am back at my house. Sorry, I am disgusting. I don't know Ew. if you can see the sweat. Yeah. I've been doing this whole thing. By the way, if anyone's ever curious, I've been doing a thousand calories a day at the gym. If anybody's interested, let me know in any sort of fitness stuff or ways for gamers to get fit pretty darn quick. Um, I've gotten some quick results pretty uh, by putting in some hard work. Uh, within a short period of time, like a 30 day thing. If you're interested, let me know, probably not. But we're here to test out the radio. Who needs a radio? And I have to admit, I gotta show you something. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk, but the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. All right, here is my messy desk area. I was just cleaning it with some of these sanitization wipes and all whatnot. It is right here, and I plugged it in, and I was like, I'm gonna do the big reveal for you guys to see if it works on camera, but I don't wanna lie to you guys and pretend the volume was already up when I plugged it in. So, this is the radio part. Oh yeah, AM FM works. I also don't wanna get demonetized with something, but AM FM works, but I wanna try out, as I promised, the Flintstones cassette tape. I'm more interested in the cassette player to see if it works. All right, here it is, the Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas read along. Let's see if this puppy works. In there. I'm really hoping so because I would love to play some of these things around. For my kids, I think it'd be a really different experience for them. It'd be really unique. All right, I am not gonna worry about keeping this in like any sort of mint condition or anything like that. I just wanna have the book and the cassette. Ta da! Here's that creepy guy, by the way. Remember this guy? That is really cool. That's really creepy, too. Like, it is disturbing. That's beyond creepy. Wow. Here it is, Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas. Try it out. You could try it with me. Let's do this. <sighs> kind of hard to sit down when you're doing this. All right, here we go. Eject. Head on in. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, we're, the, oh, here we go. Tape is all the way over here. Stop. Play. Okay. I see it spinning. Nothing's happening yet. Anything. This is the story of the Flintstones and Fever Rock Vegas. <laughs> is it on slow? Barney, Matt, Wilma, and Betty. What the? You can read along on What? Something's going on. Uh, something a little funky's happening. It's playing like the tape and the radio at the same time. Stop. Play. Okay, I gotta see if I can fix this. It's playing really slow and I can hear the radio at the same time. <laughs> the cassette player doesn't work properly. It's like going really slow. I tried everything. I even looked online a few different things to do, but it seems like the radio wants to play in the background as well with it and you can't even really change the volume. It's barely changing the volume with the cassette. So when I stop that, <laughs> Use it as a radio. It's a radio, not a cassette player. I gotta try this one. I have this one back here, this Looney Tunes one. I don't know if I've ever tried it. Let's see if it's the same uh, input. If it is, it'll be a quick uh, check right here. This thing's beautiful, by the way. This is like, in my opinion, one of the more grail cassette player looking things. Let's try this out real quick. I don't wanna waste too much more time. <laughs> Gosh darn, I have no luck. And yeah, I changed all these things, radio, karaoke, tape. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting anything from anything. Volumes up, nothing. I guess, I guess that's my hunt now for a cassette player that works. I got a good radio that works out of this one. Really cool looking colors, beautiful colors on this guy right here. But I feel like it worked before and it didn't work. Doesn't work now. Darn it. All right, first time ever magnet fishing, me and Bricks. We are on PCH in Huntington Beach, California. We're gonna throw it over the River Jetty area, uh, Santa Ana River, and see if we find anything. Exciting, hey, we're not gonna get our hopes up, we find nothing. That's all right, it's loud here, we gotta go. All right, 
we can see down there, we'll be honest, we can tell there's nothing down there. It is so shallow. You can see right in the water that there's nothing in there, but we're just gonna toss it just for fun, just to get some fun throws in. Definitely haven't caught anything as we knew, but there's a nice little stingray right there. Okay, so we knew we weren't gonna find anything here because this place was super shallow, but now we're going to go check out the next place. All right, so we're leaving that spot, gonna try another one. We knew that spot was gonna be a bust the minute we looked down, we could see the bottom of the floor of the level, we could see through the water, but at least we gotta practice some throws. So, onto another spot. Brixton pointed this out. There was something at the last spot, like deep under the sand that we could feel the vibration. Like we could feel that the magnet wanted to pull it, but it was like way too far down. Mm -hmm. Way too far. Like the rope was jiggling and we felt like a vibration through the rope. Don't know what this is, but it was parked, a place right by where we were parked. We're just gonna check we're it gonna out. We're gonna try it out. Watch out little birdie. We're not here to invade your home. Brixton has the gloves on right now, but that's okay. This is just gonna be a little, a little tough. Second throw. last spot we pulled up nothing so now we're going out and gonna walk along some docks and check it out oh, how many times are we gonna get skunked I don't know. we can't find is this gonna be the place we find something hopefully, hopefully cuz I'm about to throw something metal in there to pretend like I found something <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the spot we're going to next, right off this little mini bridge. If not, we're going to try some public docks, which are across the street right over there. We're needing to go to some more public areas. You can try off here too. I'm guessing the bridge would be better because people probably fish or drop stuff, but we could try here too. Oh. Well, I feel like it's those videos where people like lean over the edge and do all that weird stuff. I hate that stuff, by the way. It scares me out to death. All right, here's where we're gonna fish. Right. We're not fishing, we're metal fishing. All right, so Brixton was lowering this over and I was like, no, dude, you gotta throw it over because it might hit one of these metal things. Two seconds later, it's stuck to this metal and we cannot pull this off. I will break break the carabine and the rope, so I think I have to, uh, well, this is going good. Oh, great, I can see a jellyfish, too, as I have to say that. You know what's funny? I just got done saying I don't want to be those people that, like, hang over stuff, but now I have to be that guy. I hate that stuff, by the way. Oh, yeah, there was no way this was going to come off, Dixon, if without being over here. No. Uh, I gotta twist it, but it's hard to twist from this angle. It keeps on getting stuck. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to kick it off. Where is it? It's over here. So it's completely stuck. The fuck? The magnet is completely stuck on the side of that bridge and I can't get it off for anything. You really fucked. <laughs> it is on there like a ton of bricks. So I, the only tools I have with me are a couple of these pieces from uh, my, uh, my car jack. So I'm gonna try to like kind of pry it, but I have to do it with one hand because there's definitely nowhere to stand at all. So I just have to hang over the edge and kind of hope I don't fall in. Magnet fishing gone wrong. 
so our magnet got stuck on the bridge so my dad is currently trying to take it off which is you can see a really pain in the book my dad is trying to currently get a magnet off the bridge because when we were magnet fishing I started lowering it down and then it got stuck on the bridge as you can see I have fishing gone really wrong Got it? As we speak. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we just got the magnet off and he's climbing back over. Yeah, thanks a lot, Brixton. Thanks for that, huh, buddy? I'm gonna kill you. And when, when it got stuck, what'd you think? Did you think it was gonna be gone forever? Yeah, kind of, and I saw it was gonna be ground for a long time. I wouldn't ground you for getting the magnet stuck, I just wouldn't buy you a new one right away. So we were just walking to go look at magnet fishing and there was one of these right here. So we're taking a peek. Ooh. I had to talk really quiet here, so I decided to do some voiceover, but they had some really cool toys as you see right off the bat. Some old school vintage board games hanging out right there on the front. Also some old coin currency and dollar bills and stuff like that that normally I don't look at, but I find this stuff really interesting. Maybe I'm just getting old. Also a bunch of Tasmanian double stuff. How is that not cool? <laughs> Old vintage Disney lunch boxes are super cool. I love the way they feel, like the sturdiness of them just makes them feel so much more, I don't know, important for their time. And also the embossing that goes into them makes them extra cool. Disney back in the day was really awesome. Whether how you feel about them today or not, that's a different thing. Ducktail stuff lying around. Oh man, really cool stuff here. So I got to my door and when I walked up, there was a package for me just sitting there. I have no idea what this is. It could be related to the show or not. I'm hoping it is. It says riff on it, so apparently it is. But also this was sent to me yesterday. Never checked it out before. It was sent from a company that didn't say anything about what they wanted or needed or anything. So hopefully this is cool. Maybe I'll try it out another time. It's a Switch Pro Wireless Controller. It looks like it's from China. Peaceful citizens. But now it's time to open this big dog. Let's see what's in it. I literally don't know. This is long. Kind of heavy too. Here we go. What the heck? Holy cow. satellite telescope right oh you gotta check this out for a sec uh guys i'll be dead honest i don't know what this obviously it's a, a joystick of some sort but i'm wondering if it has like games on it already or something it says your future is unlimited on it and it just says k play and has like some stuff right here i gotta open this a little bit i'm probably not gonna use the whole thing right now because i'm literally busy i don't know what this was i thought it was gonna be like a skateboard deck or something but let me look uh i'm, I'm gonna keep it nice i don't want to ruin it Oh, there's a seal right here. Gotta open that. Oh, here we go. Wow, it comes in like two pieces. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, it comes like separate like that, like two separate spots. There's two, I think you slap them together and then play. I don't have time to do this. Why did I do this right now? This is what I'm looking at right now. It looks like these are like not actually playable. It looks like these are like end pieces, almost like a Joy-Con if it didn't 
buckle in and you probably hook it on the side of this. Yeah, it's clearly a fighting stick of some sort. What, with a, with a mouse? What's happening? Okay, so I, I was looking online and I really didn't see much, but then I just saw a little video, K-Play, more than a game machine. What can it do? People can dance. You can watch movies on it? Unlimited application. Oh, it like has, it's a computer? Play games, that's King of Fighters. Okay, that looks cool. That looks, you know, that looks cool. Wow. Okay. O okay. It does stuff. I should probably just play you guys this and shut up. Ooh, it works with the Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting this, so I normally wouldn't dive into something like this, but I think in a different video, I'm gonna have to dive into this and see how cool it really is, because that looked more interesting. Or like, does computer stuff, but it loves like browsers and apps, so it's like you can watch Netflix. Is it like a console? Is it basically uh, like a, kind of like a bootleg console that you can also play games on? You guys can hear that. Clicky, clicky, poppy. Pretty excited, not gonna lie. I'll look at it again later at another time when I have time. Right now, I'm about to be on my lunch break and I got to go run like six miles in one hour. So I gotta get out of here.